this is not a fun video but the week that I've had is worth sharing in case this happens to you so if you're interested in hearing what happened to me this week with PayPal with my hacking that happened then stay tuned My name is Andrea and you're, thank you for joining me. Uh, as usual, we're in the Babe Cave. Uh, this week, we, me and my husband had to fight PayPal for a charge that my PayPal got hacked. Um, it got hacked on the 18th and of course I got alerted of a purchase on PayPal and I had not made that purchase. Well, it, it was um, a $685 purchase to Tiffany and Company. And it was an open heart pendant necklace. And so I unfortunately had my banking information on there plus a credit card. Well, the default went to my banking. So that's where the charge was going to go to to my checking account so i immediately or actually my husband immediately called paypal and reported that someone had hacked my paypal account with this purchase and the odd part also was the purchase had a delivery address in my own town and with my name on it at a different address in my town that I live in. So we called PayPal, or he did. <laughs> I was shaking, you know, this is, it's almost $700. You don't mess with people's money. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not like it went to a credit card. Um, it went to my personal account. So he called, you know, they opened up a case. We're like, this is fraud. I've been hacked. I made no purchase. You know, I have you know, I dispute this charge, okay? So the people also uh, ordered this necklace next day shipping. So they even put a $20 additional for next day, no signature. We were proactive and called Tiffany and Company to call and get that canceled because it wasn't me. So uh, we didn't want Tiffany and Company to lose out on their merchandise. I mean, that's $700 that who knows, you know, some person's house, which I'll get to that in a minute, but <clears throat> was going to get this necklace. So we called Tiffany. They stopped it, canceled the order, and, you know, it was not delivered. Well, so then uh, we checked my email later on and they opened an investigation in PayPal and they switched it to item not received um, instead of fraud or you know my account got hacked so the next day we called PayPal again and we said fraud many times <laughs> because you know it I didn't order it you know I didn't also, the Tiffany & Co. had a different email address. That's why I didn't even, I didn't even get an email from Tiffany & Co. because I didn't order it. <laughs> um, so, anyway, we told them it was fraud, changed the case because it's not that I didn't receive it, I didn't order it. You know, it's fraud. <laughs> so, that's day two. <clears throat> day three of this week, PayPal never sent me an email saying that the case was changed. Um, so we had to call again and I saw no refund from Tiffany & Co. of that amount of money. And so we called PayPal again. <laughs> this point we're getting really, really frustrated. <laughs> again, it's $685. You know, that's not a lot to some people, but it's a lot to us, okay? <laughs> and we were frustrated with PayPal because we felt like we weren't getting listened to. So what my husband did at this point, he had PayPal on my phone 
and Tiffany and co called them as well while he was on hold with PayPal and talked to their fraud department and they immediately refunded the money. So we just did PayPal's job <laughs> of contacting the seller and Tiffany and company was excellent to work with. Like they, they immediately pushed a button I, and on my PayPal account, you could see that it was refunded. So magically I'm refunded and PayPal is taking the credit of, oh, it's resolved. It's in your favor. Yet we did all the legwork and who knows how long it would have took PayPal to even change it back to fraud and uh, research what had happened. I mean, it said it could have been up to 10 days. I'm sorry. Do you want someone to have your money for 10 days <laughs> out of your checking account? No. <laughs> so Tiffany and company refunded it and yesterday or today as I'm filming today, my money is back in my account where it belongs. Back to where this package was going to be delivered. It turned out um, it was a rental house because we did end up calling the police because I'm sure they had other merchandise sent to this house as well. So it was a rental house and so my husband got a hold of the landlord and told them what had happened and this item was going to be shipped there and he had told my husband that this isn't the first time and he needed this probably for eviction i don't know but it sounded like this wasn't the first no. time i just want to tell you i ordered you know from i love dooney on ebay i don't believe that that's where it was hacked um i also ordered from timu and I ordered from Timu the day before or a couple days. I'm not pointing blame, but I did order Timu through PayPal. And I also used a credit card. So, you know, I thought I was doubly protected with PayPal and a credit card. So it just seems like fishy timing. And I do have a Timu haul coming up, but I may refrain from using Timu for a bit because <laughs> when your finances is messed with you tend to pull to... back. I just wonder if this has happened to anyone out there. I also started doing a survey where you can make money doing surveys and I had payment through PayPal as well and I don't know again I've ordered and used PayPal for many years and I've never had this happen, but I'm just warning you that if you do, be proactive and call whoever the company is that that purchase came from, call that company right away. So this is just a warning, a be careful. Like, I don't know the right answer of what you should use necessarily, but uh, I'm not used to things like this happening. and. A regular basis like I think I've had it happen but nothing to this extreme so I now have taken off my banking details of PayPal I just have the credit card I do not have my checking account connected to PayPal at all <laughs> and I changed my way of getting money for the surveys that I signed up for um, you could also do gift cards so I'm just going to get a gift card uh, after I do so many surveys you get paid. Oh, so. I'm going to be a little bit smarter, I hope. And I I thought I was smarter by PayPal and a credit card, but you just you just never know. So this is just me warning that to be careful, always check your accounts. Um PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, all those accounts, like all the middleman just just check them <laughs> and uh, change your password if your password is weak or you know you use it too many times or change your password <laughs> I've changed my password I'm probably gonna change it again uh, to something even more of a stronger password because you just never know uh, so this is 
unfortunate, but I wanted to get what happened to us uh, out there in case, you know, if you have suggestions on a better way besides, you know, these middlemen, is it better just to pay Timu with your credit card? I don't know. <laughs> is it is it better just to stay away from buying online forever? Well, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but I'm sure that this burn, you know, has taught me a lesson. Do not put your checking account connected. I I don't know if I could, once I receive money on PayPal, if I can add it then or how I'm going to do it from now on. If I sell something, you know, through PayPal, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to use Venmo, I, suggestions down below uh, will be helpful. And tell me if you have any of these stories that I just told you. But luckily, I have a happy ending thanks to me and my husband doing all the legwork and the work uh, to get it resolved in a timely manner. I, but I, I hope you I, have better luck than me and I just wanted to get this out for you. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.